Hello guys, this is Keegan Man 50 and I suppose it's time for you guys to know what I really look like. Usually I'm the one, you know, doing all the camera work and stuff. But today I'm going to be showing you what's behind the camera, under the hood, so to speak. And um yeah, drum roll please. Oh yeah. All right. Anyway, this is what I truly look like. And so you know, uh, I really should be playing Call of Duty right now in the middle of a match. Uh, my teammate's probably wondering, uh, uh, where is he? When is he gonna play the game? You know, help us. Because right now, right now they're probably losing. I want them to lose. I'm trying to get uh, the Ghost Perk, uh, Ghost Pro Perk, and uh, that means I have to wait until you know we're losing and everyone starts doing the attack helicopter so I can shoot it down. Just simply put, and that's the only thing I need. That's the only thing I need to do to get the Ghost Pro Perk. And if I do that. Supposedly, I can, you know, just like go rest on the ground, have like a grenade in my hand, and, you know, all my perks will do the work for me. I'll look like a dead person. And, yeah. Because in real life, I really want to look like a dead person, like an emo kid. Huh. And uh, to show you my house, uh, before we do that, let me see if the camera is still working. All right, good. We're rolling. And anyway, this is my uh, laptop, or I guess my dad's laptop. I don't know. This is where we eat sometimes, like that small space right there. And this is the kitchen. And um, this is the microwave. I have a huge-ass fridge. Let me see if I can get a good picture of it. Yeah, it's like freaking ginormous. And, uh... Two ice creams, because I love my ice cream. And... You know, surprisingly, this Coke has been here for like a year. So I wouldn't recommend drinking it if you were at my house. I don't know. Some of you like to stalk me. Anyhow, let's go over here. This is where I play piano. Not really, I quit. But, um, yeah. I'm not really into piano anymore. I used to be, but that changed a little bit. And this is the box room. My dad is a bit of a pack rat. You can see there it's... Yeah, it's a lot of boxes. And, yeah, where I play uh, Call of Duty, this is my uh, two chairs, this is where I usually play my throne. And when I'm making a video, I usually have the, um, dang it, phone's being jacked. Anyway, I usually have my phone set up here. And I usually have like a vitamin water or some kind of weight where I can just lay it on, on something. And I'd have it like right up to here and I'd like do this pretty much. Yeah, it, it looks pretty good. And, um, and, um, scoot the chair up while I'm playing. But anyhow, I also have these awesome swords. Like, not real swords, but like uh, practice swords. And let me lay them on the floor so you get to see. Bum, bum, bum. Ba, da, da. Yeah, this part is broken because. <laughs> funny thing about that. I was playing with it and uh, I think it like hit on the wall or something, but, like, a part of it flew off, and, like, I don't know where it went, but, yeah, that's too much roughhousing, and that's my dad's room, 
uh, house doesn't really have anything in it. But I do like his bed. I wish I had a nice enough bed like that. You really can't see him to turn on the... There we go. Yeah, it's pretty nice. Pretty pimping. This is the uh, bathroom. This is where the... I have two cats. That's why there's a litter bowl or litter box over here and a, a cat bowl or whatever. And it's the dirtiest bathroom in the whole house. Look at that. That's nasty. I have this hanging up because, I don't know, thought it looked, thought it might look cool. And this is my room. I have a red bed. And that rent. It's nice. And as you can see with the posters, I'm a really big fan of Naruto. And this is where I work mostly. Mostly I just get it done at school, but, you know, whenever I can't get it done, I usually work here. And... Oh, yeah. Uh, check out my awesome stuff. This boat is made entirely of Legos. And it is said to float. Yeah, I patched up all the holes, so there's no way it could, like, drown or whatever. Sink. But I bet if you, like, put it out there, like, in a pool for, like, six minutes, it'll probably start sinking. And this was just something I made out of Legos when I was freaking bored out of my mind. Pretty random. And, oh, here's my guitar. And here's my flag, signifying that this is my room. And, yeah, that's pretty much all the interesting stuff. I know you don't want to have a world tour of my house, but, uh, you know, it's pretty tight stuff. Oh, almost forgot. The best part is the view outside. I have the best looking house in the world. This is, these are all mine. And for some of you who live in a really nice house and think, well, this isn't nice, this is usual. Well, I live in Fresno. And well, don't don't stalk me, okay? I'm putting out putting out there, just you know, giving you that. Anyway, I live in Fresno, and most of the stuff does not happen. Like it's usually just you know suburbs, uh, cul-de-sacs, and you know nothing special at all. As you can see, there's a neighborhood right there, but this is all my house. And, uh, yeah, I, I'm going to do a lot of work this weekend, you know, get rid of those weeds. But, anyway, this is my house I'm, uh, coming home from the driveway. And, you know, it look, just looks spectacular. There's a big old tree right there. And I also have a pretty nice backyard. Yeah, that's a pretty tall tree. That would be so sick to climb that. I'll probably end up killing myself, though, because I'm not a good climber. Oh, and check out that. This is under a tree, by the way. You can, like, hang out here. And onward. 
Holy crap, what the hell is that? It's an alien plant! It's like out of the middle of nowhere, it's like all grass and you see this Yeah, I'm gonna leave that to the gardener. That's what he's paid for. And also, this is under a tree. I wouldn't recommend going here either. You know, that's, that's not the safest spot, neither is this. Mostly because of the Black Widows. And for those of you who do not know me, I have major arachnophobia. And I'm also scared of bees because I haven't gotten stung in my life and I don't, I don't, I keep on wondering what to expect and I imagine the worst. And, uh, yeah, pretty much that. And I don't know how to get through here because I have to cut through all the plants. This used to be an open path, but a lot of things grow and don't stop growing in my backyard. So that's pretty much why. Ugh. All right. And check out where the path leads. It's it's pretty sick. But it's also not so good. And you'll see why in a sec. Yeah, um, also if you're over here, that is really slippery, like you can pretty much fall and you wouldn't expect it. And I actually heard that a lady actually died in this canal, and yeah, of course our neighbors are complete idiots and say, oh no, uh, uh, we used to swim in here all the time. Oh, it's it's nothing that it's not that bad. Oh, yeah. But anyway, that's pretty much it. And uh, yeah, I know you guys are really uh, bored out of your mind with this video. And you know, I just did it because I was bored too. So you know, it's fine. And before I go into the tall grasses and maybe never come out, I want to end this video. And peace out.